All right, welcome to another video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Patrick and I'm an amateur photographer, sometimes vlogger, and also frequent traveler. This week I'm in Tokyo, Japan, and I thought it would be interesting to share with you what photo gear I brought with me here. Of course, I usually bring too much of my gear with me, and uh, I did that today. I like to think of it as though I'm bringing everything that I might need, and then I actually only take out with me during the day what I'll actually use. So I'm gonna run through a lot of different stuff that I have, but I don't necessarily carry this with me every day when I'm going out. So first off, let's start out with bags. I bring all of my photo equipment with me in the Peak Design Travel Line bag, which is this great huge bag. It's 45 liters, so it carries a lot. Uh, inside the bag, I actually have uh, their packing cube system. So uh, I got their medium sized packing cube, which I put uh, a lot of the equipment in. And uh, I don't actually carry this though with me when I'm going out during the day because it's just too big and uh, it's too heavy. Uh, so I actually have a second bag, uh, which is the Peak Design Sling 10 liter. This is great because uh, it allows you to carry actually a fair amount of equipment inside, but you don't, uh, you're not carrying uh, too much with you at any one time. So it's not super heavy. Uh, and then also I like this over the five liter because uh, it does have the straps for carrying a tripod. So that's super useful. Next, let's talk about cameras. Uh, I've got uh, a couple of cameras that uh, I have uh, right now, the A7R3 that I'm shooting on with right now. And then I also have uh, a backup with me, which is the A7R2. Both great cameras. Uh, the a7R3 is something that I just got recently and the image quality and low light capabilities are just amazing. I love that camera. All right, for lenses, I carry a set of zoom lenses and then I carry a set of prime lenses depending on what I wanna shoot with. Uh, first off, uh, for the zoom lenses, I have the Holy Trinity uh, starting out with your uh, 16 to 35, this is the Zeiss F4. Uh, I use this a lot of for landscapes and cityscapes. Then I have the mid-range zoom lens, which is the Zeiss 24 to 70 F4. This is good for just a walking around lens uh, and shooting kind of anything general that you want. And then I also have uh, the 70 to 200 f4 g lens uh, this is great for shooting anything telephoto uh, if you're trying to shoot anything you know kind of tight from the top of a, a roof uh, this works really well for prime lenses i have a few of them i start out with uh, the sony 28 millimeter f2 which is what i'm shooting on right now then uh, i have the sam yang 35 f 2.8 this is a great little pancake lens it's great for walking around because when you put it on your camera your camera is so small it's, it's awesome then i have the zeiss 55 1.8 this is great for shooting some slightly close-up portraits uh, in street photography then i also have the sony 85 millimeter f 1.8 uh, I was really going back and forth between when I got this between the, uh, the 1.4 G Master and this 1.8. I, I couldn't quite justify the uh, extra money for the extra half stop of light. So uh, I've been super happy though with the, the 85 F 1.8 though. Also for shooting uh, some cityscapes and landscapes, I brought with me uh, some NDE filters. I use the Lee filter system. So I got both the, the mount here and uh, a filter pack with uh, a bunch of soft and hard indie grad filters. For tripods, I actually have a couple now. I brought with me my slick hiking tripod, which is what I'm using to shoot this on right now, but I wasn't super happy with the slick tripod because it's not an Arca system, and that's mostly what I use across a, a number of different uh, of my tripods. So I went to Yodabashi Camera and picked up a new tripod. I got the Vanguard VO Go 204 aluminum body. This thing is like 1.8 pounds, 1.9 pounds. It's super, super light and pretty sturdy. Uh, I was really going back and forth between whether I wanted the, the carbon fiber tripod or, or this one, uh, the aluminum one. And the carbon fiber tripod was like an extra 100 bucks and it really only saved you like 0.2 pounds, so I didn't, I didn't really feel that was worth it. Uh, but I got this and I'm super happy with it, so that is great. All right, let's talk about vlogging gear. Uh, I have a couple of things that I carry with me. Uh, one is my Sony RX100 Mark V. Uh, that's great for doing some vlogging. And then I also brought my Osmo Pocket, which is uh, also awesome. 
Got my lav mic, which I can connect uh, to my Osmo Pocket. So I also brought with me uh, a selfie stick, which is not something that I usually bring with me very often, uh, but uh, with the Osmo Pocket mount, I can connect it here, and it can actually get some pretty interesting shots. I'm pretty happy with that. This is the uh, the Alaska Life tripod, which I think I got off of Amazon for not too expensive, and, and I've been pretty happy with it. I'm getting some shots that I really like. For post-processing, I'm just using my iPad. I've got the iPad Pro 2017 version on it. I have Lightroom and LumaFusion, which are great for doing both photo and video editing. So that's great and a lightweight solution. For backup, I have the DJI Copilot. This is a great little uh, backup drive. Uh, you can connect it to uh, your iPad or your iPhone or anything. Uh, then you can also insert your SD cards and then copy the SD cards directly. So this is great for, for storage, uh, backup, and using as a remote drive. And then as far as miscellaneous gear, I carry all sorts of stuff. I've got your SD cards. I've got your Geodo rocket blaster, various adapters for connecting things and powering things. I've got my anchor power pack, all sorts of different stuff that I carry with me. All right, that is all the gear that I brought with me here to Tokyo. Again, it's not like I bring all that out with me every time I go out to shoot. I usually just, I target something that I'm gonna go do, like I'm gonna go do a cityscape shot and therefore I'm gonna bring my wide zooms or I'm gonna go do some street photography, so I'm gonna bring a couple of my primes and then I bring you know one camera, some vlogging gear and everything like that. So I keep it targeted to specifically whatever I'm gonna do that particular day when I'm going out shooting. So uh, I hope you found that interesting or at least entertaining. Uh, if you've got any questions about any of the gear that I brought, feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Uh, if you found this interesting, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button or the notification button if you feel like it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.